Hello and welcome to Freya's Tropical Garden. This is another opportunity for you to see my tips on how to create a tropical garden on a budget which featured in episode 3. When I first moved into this property we had a lovely blank canvas to start off with. But I actually started out by collecting my plants and keeping them in pots. And as the plants grew bigger and the pots needed to get bigger, eventually it seemed it was time to move things into the ground. And the first plant to actually get planted was this Acer here. And that was three years ago now. And look how much it's grown in that time. And planting this tree led to all the rest. So tip number one is to start small. It may seem obvious, but you don't need to landscape your whole garden in one go. This bed with a small mousse of dew in it is one of the first that I created and three years on you can see how much everything has grown inside it. And then only last year I added this new bed to the garden. And even now the slate path isn't yet finished. And I've only just started planting this bed this year. And I can't wait to get started on the next bed. I still have plenty of grass left to make new beds, so this is an ongoing project. And even my small pond that I'm creating is on hold for a little bit until I get some more stone for it. Tip number two is to buy small plants. Many of the plants that we grow in tropical gardens, like this Musa Basju, are very fast growing, so there's very little point in spending a lot of money to get a bigger plant if you can just be patient for a couple of years. If you're looking for some quick height, then these ricinus seedlings grow very big very quickly. Although they're only annuals, this one here will easily be six foot tall by the end of the growing season. And Nicotiana also grows quickly in one season and has the most beautiful flowers. And although they might not be tropical, if you're looking to get some quick height, then you can always use a lot of sunflowers in your garden. And some varieties will grow eight or nine foot. In terms of fast-growing perennials, this Ruum is a very good one if you're looking to get some big leaves into your garden. And my gunner has only taken a couple of years to get from very small to some massive leaves that we're getting this year now. But this does need to drink a lot of water to get to the bigger sizes. I've sunk a trough under this one. And even a small tetrapanix won't take very long until it's producing some wonderful big leaves. The variety Steroidal Giant is particularly fast growing and Paulonia tomentosa is so fast growing you can coppice it right down to the ground and it will still grow back fast. In terms of palm trees I find that the Washingtonia, Robusta or Folifera are one of the faster growing palms. Though not as hardy as Trachycarpus, I grew all mine from seed only about six years ago and they're already a lot bigger than my other palms. I lost a couple this winter, but most of them have made it through. And tower lilies only take a couple of years before they start reaching some spectacular heights. And with the flowers that they produce as well, they can be an absolutely stunning addition to a tropical garden. My third tip is to propagate. One of the easiest ways to do this is through division. And my cannas are one of the best plants to do that with. This can of patterns I've got in several places of my garden. It's a beautiful plant and it's all just stemmed from the one original one that I bought. By dividing your plants and moving them around the garden, especially if you're creating a new bed, it can really help to get some quickly established plants and it really ties together the planting. This can of Russian red grows about seven foot tall by the end of the season and I've got this in several places of the garden. It also has the most beautiful orange flowers. Collocasias are also really good for dividing. I've got masses of this that I've now started to move around to other areas of the garden. This one is a variety called Pink China. And I have a few varieties of hardy ginger growing in my garden. These can spread like wildfire, so it's really easy to divide a clump and move it somewhere else. And of course the Musa Basju banana produces so many pups that you'll find it very easy to divide them and move them to other areas of the garden. And I demonstrated how to do this on my video on the Musa Basju. And then there are plants like this Persicaria red dragon that are very easy to take cuttings. 
I have a few past videos on how to take cuttings, but this is a wonderful way of producing new plants and some of them can grow very quickly and you can have several new plants by this method. And of course you can propagate by growing from seed, because of course most seeds are quite inexpensive to buy. And with the right plants, some of them can grow very quickly in one year. These sweet corn plants will be a lot taller by the end of the year. And this variegated variety has a lovely pink streak and red fruit. As previously mentioned, Nicotiana is another one that grows really quickly from seed, even though it's just an annual. And the Ricinus, which is absolutely fantastically fast growing from seed. Tip number four is to search Facebook Marketplace or other local advertising sources. I picked this Camerops humulus up from someone locally who was moving and needed to sell their plants. Fortunately, it was already in a pot, but there are many sellers who will give their plants away free if you're prepared to dig them up. These are just some of the many plants that I've managed to pick up cheaply on Facebook Marketplace. Many local sellers will sell their plants a lot more cheaply than you'll find them in garden centres. And this iris was given to me for free when I bought something else. Even some of the hard landscaping, like this Japanese bridge, I picked up on Facebook Marketplace for next to nothing and repainted myself. I've even managed to find pieces of slate going for free, which I'm going to be breaking up and using on my next path. And following on from this, my final tip is to use Facebook Marketplace or card boot sales to sell your own excess plants. These Camerops humulus pups have all come off the main plant that I bought. And there are so many extra plants that I've got either from cuttings or from division or just from sowing too many seeds. And then of course selling these plants can give you extra money to buy more. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook or on my website. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you've enjoyed the content.